All right, lads, it's a big one. Westport, it's been on the list for yonks. I don't know how I haven't done it before now, but I've done it. You're about to witness it. Serious standard of pints. Massive shout out to Surfshark, the sponsor of this video. Surfshark is a VPN, AKA a virtual private network. It's an app or web extension that means you can basically place your phone or laptop anywhere you want in the world. Therefore, meaning vis-a-vis. Vis-a-vis. If you're in Ireland, you're gonna watch something on YouTube and it says, this video is not available in your country. And you say, suck on that. Let's say it's an NFL video. You just whip up Surfshark. Change your location to the good old US of A. And blah, blah. Don't fucking mess with me. You can watch that video because your computer or phone thinks that you're in the States. And then another unreal thing with Surfshark is that your privacy is highly valued. So no judgment zone around here. I won't judge it. You won't judge me. But we all probably go down some dodgy rabbit holes in the search history from time to time. Surfshark keeps that all totally private. Any sort of passwords or email you put in, it's completely confidential. Use my code Guinness to get 83, I repeat, 83% off plus three months for free. Thank you, Surfshark. And now lads, enjoy this masterclass in pinting. I'm here in Westport, uh, a long overdue spot to figure out where is the best pint of Guinness. Very popular for stags, hens, and just general lads trips. And I've been told it's the Abita of the West. Uh, but it looks a bit, I'm not too sure about that. But I presume the pints are going to be good. We're here on a Wednesday evening, so obviously it's more of a weekend kind of place. Five pubs to hit. Let's get cracking. Right, pub one about six meters across. It's a tiny little town, about six meters across from where we did the intro. Blousers, highly recommend, probably around the middle of the recommendations in terms of highest to lowest. Let's have it. So what's the story behind the, the plug? That plug, they took the TV out of the bar, crushed it, and they all came back to the bar and it was to bring Right lads, first pub. First thing I notice is the about another 15 seconds of settling in this, so don't worry. People are probably screaming, you have to drink it before it goes straight. Well, I know what I'm doing, lads. I know it's it's the 6th of July and you come into the pub and the fire is on. It's such a a sign of the Irish climate, like we just don't get a summer. It's great. So any American lads watching this or even lads from the UK who get a sunny summer. You don't get it here in Ireland. Like uh, three sunny days the whole summer and the rest is rain and wind. Um, okay, let's have a sup. Slaunch our lads. Barman brought it over specifically and it, it doesn't seem like it's the type of place where they bring you your pint, so. Impressive first gulp, I must say. It's like at a stage now where the first gulps sometimes just taste all the same. I don't know, maybe I've been waiting all day to have this Guinness. We got here around half two. Mrs. Guru again behind the camera. I kind of I was rushing her saying, come on, we have to get down, we have to get down. So I usually like to film maybe like three till sort of six or seven. We got here, it was like a ghost town. Most of the pubs don't even open till five, so it's about half five now, so we're in the first one, but grand little atmosphere. But like I said outside, I think it's definitely more of a weekend warrior type of town. Mm. Great reception when we came in. One of the locals sitting at the bar was saying, um, and there's a picture up there as well. Guinness ad was shot here 2004. If I can find it on YouTube, I'll stick it in right now. Jeez, that ad was great. But um, yeah, obviously quite a weird name for a pub. Blousers, you just think blouse, so that's kind of funny. But I presume it's someone's name. Fun fact in the ad, they put Pat's bar over the front of it for marketing reasons or something like that, he said. But yeah, sound man behind the bar. Um, one of those sort of told him the spiel and he was kind of like, oh yeah, might have heard of you. I don't really give a bollocks, but I'll still give you a great pint of Guinness. That's perfect. Also, the Marmite is back. You love it or you hate it. It's one or the other. The neck mic is back in action if you're a, if you're a guru stan as the kids say. 
you'll notice that in the last few videos and a few people said it I had the mic on top of the camera as opposed to this one this one's a bit of a hassle again this is stuff people don't care about but I'm gonna say it anyway this one's a little bit of a hassle because all the wires but it's right up there at the neck and you get that <laughs> I thought people hated it turns out people some people like it some people hate it fuck it barely said a thing about the point the shtick looks like it's gonna be class it's literally all the way from the very top which is a great sign head could have been a tiny bit bigger I would say um, all style glass do you think we're gonna get new style glass in Mayo and the fact that they're definitely being phased out fact um, yeah it was, it was a borderline perfect looking point um, bar the head I'd say could have been 15.6% bigger also adds a tip I, I was just about to do it it's for stick right I get it I get it easily and it down the same side because I hold the point in my hand for the whole review whereas if you put the point down as you would in a pub like that and then blah 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 and some, maybe you're looking at the glass and you turn it you don't want to drink it from that side because you're just going to ruin the stick so I'm not going to do it one side should be totally clear that's the side the you're drinking from and the other side if you're this is only if you're trying to get the instagram wanker pick of the shtick otherwise who gives a bollocks but um yeah that's a tip don't turn the glass that's a point usually oftentimes i'm disappointed because you get a point where it looks amazing and then for some reason oh me back i'm getting old for some reason it looks great looks thick looks creamy but it lets you down with the taste. This, to be honest, didn't blow me away with the looks of it, but it's actually a really tasty point. Creamier than it looked, tastier than it looked. Can't really judge how it's gonna look taste-wise, but those rings are something to write home about, seriously. Decent creamy finish. Again, if that, if that point, see that's how you stick on that side, then all that white stuff dripping down that side. Dodgy. I'll get the price, I'll put it in. That's an impressive point. I'm very happy with that. <coughs> great start, great start. What are we saying? It's got to be in the eights. <laughs> Just solid as a rock, as the song says. 8.2. That's my sort of go to score of a point. It's just really, really good. Doesn't blow my nuts off. Doesn't disappoint me in the slightest. It's 8.2, really good point. Okay, pub number two, Morins, and then right across the road is Matt Malloy's again. Westport is, as far as I'm aware, absolutely tiny. Um, just FYI, if you're looking for Morins on Google, don't bother. You look it up and it says permanently closed. Apparently that's some shoe shop around the corner. I was down there earlier. The people of Instagram were quick to tell me, you're in the wrong place, you fucking gum bean. Anyway, into Morins. Morins and Matt Malloy's by far the most requested pubs in Westport, I'm expecting big things. <laughs> Sorry lads, we're in Morins. Um, I have to say, I don't know if I've ever felt like such a celebrity walking into a pool, but this is the last thing I expected here. So, a couple of, couple of avid watchers around the place, um, young and old, so unbelievable been told a lot of people in here saying and I don't think they're just saying it for their own health a lot of people saying best in Westport by a mile and I said what about Matt Malloy's they say fuck Matt Malloy's they gotta love the, the competition the rivalry aspect I'm gonna, I don't want to ruin this by drinking it too early but let's have a let's appreciate the Domeo and Juliet and that it's coming over the top but it's not spilling so you know it's solid solid cream she focusing cat it's grand <laughs> Yeah, that is amazing. You're talking about half a centimetre over the top. I'll give it about another five seconds. Um, yeah, really cool little pub. Very, just kind of no nonsense and just cosy as fuck. Excellent, <laughs> what a job. Not a bubble to be seen in that head. Perfectly white color. Head is the absolute perfect size. Get your ruler out, lads. What a thing of beauty, Slancher. 
Is that water or vodka? <laughs> I drink a lot of water. I drink a lot of vodka. It's always a relief when it is good. You've got eyes, the couple of eyes staring, and it's a relief that it is good because if everyone, if you come in the pub and everyone says it's great, then it's not great, then you have to give it a, a low score, then you're fucked. But the relief has come over me because it's absolutely unreal. Very light is just not the right word to use for Guinness. But like when it's no, no, I hear Shushin is the last thing I want. <laughs> no, that's good. Um, very light, very drinkable. I call it the kind of ice cream effect where. I, I, I can never explain it properly, but it just just flows flows down the gullet. Is the only way I can I can say. A thick head, staying thick. That's what we want. It does feel quite cold, but I'm not sure if it's. I'll judge at the end if it's too cold or not. But cracking point so far. Yeah, you just, you're just crisp. Not something you'd usually like. Refreshing, light, crisp. You'd never use those verbs. Is that a verb? Can't? Adjective. I thought it was going to English. Maybe not. You'd never use those adjectives to describe Guinness. That'd be like how you would describe a lager. But um, yeah, just, just goes down so smooth, and that's all you want. This is somewhere where. If someone is getting into Guinness and they, they think it's too heavy, it's too hard on the stomach, come somewhere like here where the pint just fucking is so drinkable. What's his name? Robbie. Out of 10. Do you mind being on the camera? Flick it around, so. Robbie is telling me this is the best pint going. What would you give it out of 10? And honest, you can't, if you can't give it a 10, Oh, definitely like 10. Just 10? I'd say 7.8. Jeez, you're fairly... I like you. That is critical. I'm going to give it a much higher than a 7.8 now. Wow. Jesus. I thought you'd go 9.8 or something. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 for the half point. <laughs> That's some stick. stick, as the boys are saying in the background, as the t-shirts, the jumper suggests. I'm very impressed with that. Um, I think Robbie was a bit harsh with a 7.8. <laughs> well, maybe I'm too soft. He might have to take my job. I'm, I'm, I'm very happy to give that an 8.6 out of 10. Crowd goes wild. <laughs> Lads, apologies for the interruption. Just a quick message to let you know that the Guru merch store is back open. It's very simple, six different items, hoodies, crew necks, t-shirts, all come in different colors. And sob story alert, get your violins out. As you know, lads, this is my full-time job. Uh, somehow I've made a full-time job out of drinking pints, but every bit of support you lads can give is hugely appreciated. So go to gurumerch.com, grab yourself a hoodie, a crew neck, or a t-shirt. Sound back to the pints. Okay, lads, that was a, an amazing review in Morins, but we gotta forget about it. Right across the road, Matt Malloy's. People in Morins were saying Matt Malloy's is absolutely packed, so I don't know if I'll even get a seat, but all I care about is the pint. Also, something to note, when I put it out on Instagram, I say, lads, where's a good place to go for Guinness? Or I say, where's the best pint of Guinness in Westport this time? Most, the number one place was Matt Malloy's, but I don't, I, I never know, is that because Matt Malloy's is a really popular bar, or is that because Matt Malloy's has the best Guinness? Um, so sometimes I feel like these smaller pubs with a bar pint of Guinness tend to miss out. But what can you do? Not my fault. Man of the people, I have to listen to the people. Into Matt Malloy's. Yeah, exactly.
Right lads, Matt Malloy's, I don't know how we got a seat, the place is absolutely packed, uh, like I said outside, it's just such a known spot, um, when I think Westport, I think Matt Malloy's, Cozy Joe's, Cozy Joe's is late night crack, Matt Malloy's during the day, just shit out of families, tourists, Irish people, everyone. How are you bud? I'm good, yeah. Is it, yeah? Best in Westport? Fair enough. Fans everywhere. <laughs> anyway, my, my, that's a shame now. My first, I need to get more used to handling these sort of situations. My first, what a pussy sup that was. Get in on that kid, Mrs. Gear. That is an absolute bitch sup. Literally half a mouthful. Anyway, my, my first, usually I have about four gulps that was interrupted. My, my ego got in the way. Anyway, I'm pretending this is my first sup. I'll tell you what lads, <clears throat> I do not go by what anyone in Moran says, what anyone anywhere says. I take the recommendations and then whatever point is put in front of me, I judge solely by myself. And I start that, it's fucking lovely. I must say, I'm starting to have more belief in you lads recommending on Instagram that it is actually a good point here and not just a popular pub. Maybe that's why everyone's here, because it's such a good point. Great start. I'm, I'm very guilty of just always, comp in the videos, comparing it to the last pub, comparing it to the last pub, whereas I have to give it its own review, but then when you're trying to do a score, you are comparing it to the last pub, because that's how you come up with the score. It's absolutely lovely. <clears throat> For me, not initially, I'm not saying this will be the final thought, Initially, not as good as Morin's, but not far off, lads. I'm burping now, had a bit of chowder earlier because we were sitting around scratching our asses, waiting for these country pubs to open. 5 p.m. I'm used to I'm used to drinking in the big smoke where the pubs are open about nine o'clock in the morning. That's good gear. Taste-wise, like I was talking about that crisp, refreshing, I know I'm full of absolute shite, but that way I was trying to explain the point Morin's, it's lacking that a tiny bit, you, you, you're getting that, which is typical Wick Guinness, but you're getting that tiny sort of aftertaste, that sort of coffee, burnt sort of aftertaste, which most people probably like, I don't, I don't want to know that I've had a pint of Guinness after I drink it, but it's a lovely pint though, lovely pint, shtick. Stick City, Westport, Stickport. And I'm giddy now, my ego has been inflated after Morin's. Felt like a proper A-lister. But I have to bring myself back down to earth and realize I'm here to do a job and to tell you lads, send you lads in the right direction. But look at the stick on that, good grief. I've drank that pint in about I'm gonna go back and when I'm editing the video, I'll, I'll put it on the screen like a ding. Mrs. Gary looks worried. <laughs> lovely point, absolutely lovely point. Look at the shtick, lads. I don't know if that's because I took a bitch go up at the start. Maybe that's the secret to getting the good shtick. But ring, ring, ring. Probably not focusing, isn't it? That's what happens, lads. Filmmaking 101, it doesn't focus in the dark pubs. Ring, 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 ring. Lord of the Rings. Um, that was absolutely, Savage, very good point. I went, I have to compare it to the last one. I went 8 6. I went 8 6 in Morin's. It's not quite there, but for me, it's better than Blouser's 8 2, 8 6. I'm no mathematician, but for me, the middle of that would be an 8.4, and that's what I'm gonna go. Really, really good point, really impressive. Didn't know what to think when I came in here. Place was packed. I was thinking, ah, just tourist trap. Look at the shtick. Shtick says it all. Shtick, welcome to Shtick Fort. Matt Malloy's 8.4. Monster scores only. All right, that's quick intro outside the old grain store. Actually looks really nice. They probably painted it during COVID as did every pub in the world. It's raining. I'm wearing shorts. 
Ireland. You gotta love it. Right, lads, sort this shag and wire. Right, lads, the old grain house. Uh, quite a weird name for a pub. Lovely pub, I have to say. I'm gonna take a sip first because it's about to go bad. Blanche. Very few bubbles in the head. Head is a good size, also a glass. Of course, no also a glass. I know it's a tiny bit warmer than a couple of the last ones I've gotten, but I thought, well, maybe they too cold? Who knows? Anyway. Another crack and pint. <clears throat> So, this pub was very much, again, I don't want to talk about the microphone, but this is where it comes in because I'm sure you can hear me fine. The speaker behind me pumping, but if the other microphone was on, that's actually too boring to even divulge into. Back to the pub. This pub was on the cusp of, I had four pubs up. I did my little bit of research. I went through all the Instagram replies. So I had the question box. Matt Malloy's and Morin's were by a million miles the two most requested. Then Blouser's, then Toby's, which we're gonna go to after. And I put it up again, I said, lads, I need one more pub. Um, and then the clear sort of favorite was the old grain house when I put it up again. So made up by the skin of its teeth, but I'm glad we came in here. We met Viv, the owner, absolutely sound bloke. In his 40s, only looks like a gossip. So obviously the pub trade isn't stressing them out too much. Um, but yeah, top bloke. Just one of those owners that just, cool, savvy dude, know, knows what he's up to. Has the market on lock. Whatever that means, kids say it. Cool point, not blowing my socks off. We're in what I would think is the snug. Miss Guru, could you possibly pan around a little bit? And just show the door, like, I don't know if I'd consider this a snug. Don't get me wrong, it is a snug area, but I would define a snug as a very much a closed off area at the front of the pub, which this is, but I would define a snug as a closed off area that has direct access to the bar. So you have a little hatch here where you get your pints through, but I don't think we've seen a single snug here in, um, in Westport. I don't know, maybe in the, in the west of Ireland, it's not as much of a thing. Ooh, hiccups are coming. But anyway, yeah, your man, the, the owner, he said he worked in John Kyo's on St. On St. Anne Street in Dublin. Anyone who knows that about pints in Dublin knows John Kyo's is, or just Kyo's, is like known as one of the definitely the top five, top ten pints in Dublin. Um, so if you're pulling pints in Kyo's for six years, then you're going to know a thing or two. But I have to say, I don't think this is up to the standard of Kyo's. Shtick, unfortunately, I don't know if it's always tricky with the shtick, like tricky with the shticky. Whether that's like sometimes it feels like the glass is too clean and the shtick, the, the the cream doesn't stick to it, it just kind of glides down. But I don't know, it, it doesn't feel like that's because it's not creamy because it, it is a creamy pint, so it's a tough one. The shtick is like one of those unknowns, like Guinness, I call myself the Guinness Guru, but. I really haven't done enough research over the last few years to, to know why does it stick sometimes and why doesn't it, but in this case, it just is not. One little mini ring there, but nothing to write home about stick wise. And also, I'm drinking it as quick as I normally would. Yeah, I mean, you can see by the look of it, like it's, it is, it's tasty, it's good. The head is good, thick white head to the end, but unfortunately, stick is lacking. and. There is a slight lack of creaminess, I can't lie. This is a decent point. But the standard has been so high in the last three pubs. What are we, 8-2, 8-6, and 8-4? That is just solid pinting. I mean, that's the stuff of dreams. Really do like this pub though. Really cool inside, big sort of open. You feel like you can breed. Matt Malloy's, you now obviously I am an absolute freakish Shrek bastard. All six foot seven of me was like this walking through the place. But you kind of feel like you can actually breathe in here, which is nice. Um, 
but yeah, really nice pub. But it's about to paint, and unfortunately, no, unfortunately, unfortunately for who? Not for me. It's it's a good pint, but it is not up to the standard of the last three amazing pints I've had. Tune. The head did stay thick and creamy to the end. That is a plus. I can't let the lack of stick come into it too much because like you've seen before, I remember having a pint in Portugal and it was absolutely grotesque. But the stick was probably the best stick I've ever seen. So even though it's on the hoodie or the jumper, you can't solely base it off of that, but there was a slight lack of cream and there was a bitterness was a it's obviously a bitter it's a stale it's gonna be bitter but the bitterness was a bit too overpowering for me I can't quite put it in the eights so I'm happy to give it a 7.8 a very respectable score if it was just on a normal standard but the standard is right up here around here so unfortunately it hasn't quite cut the bacon cut the bacon I don't think that's even a phrase but anyway Okay lads, pub 5 of 5, I have to say, I am wouldn't say I'm well on, I'm getting there. I'm trying to keep my composure. Uh, Toby's Bar, probably fourth, so the, of the five pubs I've gone to, probably the fourth most recommended. So I'm not expecting the most incredible pint of all time, but I'm expecting a decent one because the standard has been high. I do have to say, it's a bit of a trek out from the town. Those other four pubs were all literally seconds away from each other. Great work, Mrs. Guru. This is a bit of a, I wouldn't say trek, it's like a five minute walk outside of town, but it's gonna, feels like we're gonna be intruding on the locals, but job's gotta be done, let's have it. That's one. Right, that's Toby's. I'm gonna have a sip because it's about to go. Wouldn't say bad, but head size good. Could do it in another couple of millimeters of damage. Although, a eh, couple of micro bubbles in the head. Looks good. Doesn't look incredible. I had a feeling, you see, the Guinness logo is quite. Um, eroded that's definitely not the right word but just kind of worn away the point is the glass is 16 so this glass is like six years old so that's would make sense why the logo is a bit worn off anyway fun fact not really that fun it's larger it's good to be fair it's at that stage where it kind of had to be good because if it wasn't, then we'd be fucked because I've had four already in the space of probably an hour and a half, two hours. So, um, but luckily it is actually quite good. It was worth the little five minute walk out here. It felt like we walked about 50 miles because it, the rest of them, like I said, were so close together and this one was just outside of the town. But again, if I was coming on like a lad's trip or something, it's not the type of place, to be honest, I'd come and being honest again it's probably not the type of place that they would want you i spoke to a few of the kind of pub owners and lads working in pubs i know this is very much a stag spot i know a lot of you a lot of lads will be watching this if they're probably planning on going on a stag here some of the pubs <coughs> i feel like morins not trying to take business away from them but like i feel like morins and blousers quite small pubs i'd say they'd have no interest in a stag don't get me wrong if it's a stag of like 10 or less they might not mine and it was during the day when you just aren't all fucking locked and off your heads i feel like matt malloy's uh, the old grain house much bigger pubs could accommodate a lot more people and then you've obviously got cozy joe's which i won't be going near because it's not known for good guinness but cozy joe's is apparently i've been in it it's a spot to hit at night just tunes crack all that sort of stuff so those are the sort of places you'd be kind of sticking to on a stag or a lads trip you go to one pub if you get enough seats for the amount of lads you're with you stay there all day if you've been on enough stags you know that's the real anyway that's that's a decent point to be fair stick solid creamy head could be a millimeter or two bigger but it's staying well 
it's staying white also a glass i think it's a perfect temperature on this pint but again i, I just got to be totally honest like if you're the fifth out of five pubs it's just i don't know if my if my taste buds are kind of on point as much by the fifth pub a lot of people say this is the thing i don't get people always say oh that's that's not fair like the fifth pub you're going to give a 10 out of 10 because you're a bit tipsy and it's like that doesn't come into it whatsoever anyone who drinks guinness knows like fair enough if you're a hard bastard you can drink 20 pints and not get full fair play to you oh, jesus but i'd be the type of lad who gets to like don't get me wrong, you drink pints all day, but you get to that fifth or sixth one and you start they start feeling heavy on the stomach. And I sometimes I do feel like the first pub maybe gets an advantage. And I don't pick the first pub because it's the most recommended or the least recommended. Usually it's just like the closest one to where I'm staying. So it's all just kind of by chance to be honest. But I do feel like the first pub probably gets an advantage. The last pub gets a disadvantage. The three pubs in between, it's all fair game, but what can you do? That is a good point. I'm gonna go 8.1 for Toby's. Um, worth the walk if you're in a small group. Yeah, 8.1 for Toby's. Grand little local spot. Probably not worth coming if you're in a big group of lads because like I said, they just tell you to look off. But cool little boozer. 